Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris for electricaltime.com. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a really special book. This is called The Mike Holt Changes to the National Electrical Code, and that's going to be for the 2023 code cycle. And in this book here, it has the changes. Um, I would say probably the most significant changes for the National Electrical Code, because we know every three years the code has a lot of changes. And I got to tell you, this book by Mike Holt, I can't really show it to you, but I'm going to kind of show it to you from over here. It's got tons and tons of graphics and pictures that could really help you to understand a complicated topic. And what Mike and his people do is to make it simple. All right, so we're going to be looking at this uh, air conditioning condensing unit over here. We see that we have a disconnect right behind there, and we know that's a violation. All right, now why did I pick this? Well, you know, I'm here, and the person who owns the house said, yeah, go ahead, do your video, no problem. And sometimes we can learn more about looking at a violation uh, as compared to maybe something that's code compliant. All right, so again, this is a, a technically a violation, and we're going to look in Mike's book here in the changes to the National Electrical Code, and let's identify, you know, what the violation or the violations are. All right, so one of the code changes, and it's not really a code change because we've always had to do this, but what they did in Article 440, which is called Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Equipment, what they did in 440.11, they made it very clear about something that we should have known all in the past about, all right? But let me read this to you. And again, I can't really show you the pictures. You're going to have to go and buy this book, and it's really an investment. You're going to, you know, it's not a lot of money. Keep this in your truck. It's a, a great, great investment. I highly recommend it. So we're going to be looking at 440.11 general. And what Mike is saying here, it's saying the disconnect enclosure with a hinged door that exposes energized parts when opened must require a tool to open or, right, or the door must be capable of being locked, all right? So when I look at this over here, at this disconnect, I could see that there's a little place where you could put a lock over here so you can lock this. It doesn't say that it has to be locked. It says, it says, that it has to be capable of being locked, all right? So, so far, we're in compliance, so far. But here's where we're not in compliance. If we take a look at the disconnect location, and there's a change in there, all right? There's a change in there. And that's gonna be 440.14. So what Mike is saying here, the air conditioning equipment disconnect must be within sight from and readily accessible from the air conditioning equipment. And here's the question. Is that disconnect within sight of the air conditioning equipment? Yes, it is. It's only about maybe less than two feet away. And when we talk about within sight, we're talking about that we can see it with nothing obstructing our view and up to 50 feet. That is what's defined as within sight, all right? And here's the change, right? And it says, and meet the required working space requirements of 110.26a. Now, that's always been the rule, but what they did in Article 440, they spelled it out. They said, hey, you have to make sure that you meet the working space requirements of 110.26a. I'm not going to go over that in the video here. That'll be another video for another time. But basically, what the working space is, you know, without getting, you know, too nuts and too technical, if you're working in front of something where it's going to be energized, right, where you're going to have to have it energized, let's say for testing purposes. So let's say like the HVAC technician is going to be testing the voltage, right? Usually what they're going to do is they're going to open up that disconnect. They're going to pull out that uh, disconnect out of there. 
um, you know, and then they'll, you know, test the voltages, right? So they're testing it live, you know, to see that they're getting the right voltage. Obviously, if they're going to work on it, they're going to have to disconnect the power. So they'll go into the basement of this house, turn off the circuit breaker, and then work nice and safe. Okay, so again, somebody's going to be working on this. We want them to be nice and safe. Again, this is an old installation. This is nothing new. I'm going to say this has probably been around for maybe about 20 years or so, maybe more. So maybe at that time, you know, that's the way they used to do it. But now in today's code, we know better. We know we're going to have to make sure that that disconnect has enough working space. So if, if we were doing this today, right, and we can learn from the lessons of the past. So what I would probably do is, first of all, I would probably put a new cable on this because I see the cable is a little bit worn. And I would decide where I'm going to put this. Now we see that we've got this equipment here for the solar system. So I'm probably going to stay away from that. What I probably would do is I probably would put the disconnect probably somewhere around here so that I'm not behind the air conditioning unit. So this way, everything is nice and safe. And if something happens, the, the purpose of the working space, if there's an arc, we have to be able to get away really quick, right? Because if somebody's kind of working behind here and there's an arc, you know, hopefully, you know, you don't have a really fat person who's trying to slip in here like this, like me, like a fat guy like me, you know. You know, probably that person is probably going to be standing here off to the side, you know, hopefully not touching anything and opening this, opening this up and, and doing their testing from here. So in the future, when the homeowner is going to be replacing that air conditioning unit, um, you know, I'm going to let them know that that disconnect has to be moved so that it's nice and safe. All right. Um, also, if you go to my website, electricaltime.com, uh, you can find the Mike Holt books on my website, electricaltime.com. There's a link. It's called the Mike Holt books. And then also, I got something really special besides the birds uh, chirping over here. Um, on my website, electricaltime.com, I got a link and it says subscribe for the free NEC code questions and that's what it is. So when you subscribe for free on my website, you're going to get an email probably a couple of times a week, you know, as I write up these questions and answers and it'll be a free code question and answer. And the best part of it, it's free. You know, I don't charge for it. I do this sort of almost like a public service. I'm trying to help the next generation that they can be better electricians. And again, you know, it's good that we look at stuff like this and we can say, hey, that's not good. That's a violation by today's standards. And so that we know that we can do a better job and be safer for protecting persons and property from the hazards of electricity. I want to thank everybody for watching this video and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.